Thank you all for uh, being here. I'm Chris Aylward, National President for the Public Service Alliance of Canada, and I'm joined by Mark Briere, the component president for the Union of Taxation Employees, representing 35,000 members. For the last two weeks, while our members walked picket lines, the Canada Revenue Agency did not have a full mandate to address wages and other core issues. It was only on Monday of this week that they in indicated that they were ready to negotiate the wages and other core issues. That is an insult to the members at the Canada Revenue Agency who have been walking picket lines for the past two weeks, who, when Canada needed them the most, rolled out financial aid during the, uh, the pandemic to millions of Canadians. And now, during tax season, millions more are on the hook as the, the employer, the Canada Revenue Agency, and this government continues to play games at the negotiating table. Enough is enough. We want to see a fair deal on the table today. Our members are fed up, we're fed up, and our members need to get back to work and serving Canadians. And we're telling the government today that if we do not see a fair offer put on the table today, we will be at the Liberal Party of Canada Convention here in Ottawa tomorrow. Merci, Chris. Bonjour tout le monde. Alors, écoutez, il fait plaisir d'être là avec vous. Euh, depuis deux semaines, alors que nos membres sont en grève partout au pays, l'Agence du revenu du Canada n'avait pas de mandat entier pour pouvoir discuter avec nous, notre équipe de négociation, des enjeux principaux à la table de négo. Ça a pris une semaine avant d'avoir une première offre salariale de la part de l'Agence du revenu du Canada. Et même à ça, à ce moment-là, ils, euh, ils ont commencé à se traîner les pieds à la table de négociation et refusaient de, de, de négocier sur les enjeux principaux qui sont les salaires, un ajustement salarial, le télétravail et également euh, la, la sécurité d'emploi. Et je peux vous dire que le fait que l'Agence du revenu euh, nous a donné une, une offre à ce moment-là, il y a quelques jours, qui était à nos yeux insultante pour nos membres, qui était inférieure à ce que l'AFPC a négocié avec les quatre autres unités de négociation de l'AFPC la, pour le Conseil du Trésor, nos membres ont été très insultés, surtout après tout ce qu'ils ont fait pendant la pandémie, qui sont venus à la rescousse du gouvernement pour donner des prestations d'urgence aux Canadiens, aux Canadiennes et aux entreprises également. Écoutez, 30 millions de, de, de traitements de la PCU, etc. Et de se, faire, de, de se faire traiter de cette façon-là avec le manque de respect, ça n'a aucun bon sens. Donc, ce que je veux vous dire, c'est que nos membres sont insultés, sont tannés, je vous dirais même qu'ils sont écœurés d'attendre, ils ont assez attendu. Et là, c'est le temps de cesse aujourd'hui. Il faut que l'Agence du revenu nous donne un contrat équitable, un contrat que nos membres méritent pour le travail qu'ils font et qu'ils ont fait pendant la pandémie. Et si ça n'arrive pas, eh bien, on verra demain, on ira faire un tour, payer une visite au Parti libéral du Canada pour son congrès national qui aura lieu demain à Ottawa. Merci. Any questions? Yeah, does that mean, uh, are you saying when you're going to the Liberal Convention that you're planning on disrupting? Or if we don't see a fair deal put on the table today, we will be at the Liberal Party of Canada Convention in, uh, in Ottawa tomorrow. Where's the union's raised to demand at now? Is it still 20%, 20 21.5 over 3? No. Uh, what, what's, the, what's the ask for? Well, I mean, again, you know, we've compromised. Uh, I'm not going to say exactly where we're at or where each side is at, but I can tell you, as I said earlier, that the deal they have on the table currently is less than the deal that we reached on Monday with Treasury Board units. And we, we don't know why the Canada Revenue Agency is playing this game. Okay, so why, in, are there any other major sticking points other than just wages? So are wages the last? No, I mean, the, the, the core issues are certainly wages, remote work, and job security. Would you accept the same deal that was offered to the PSAC members, for the CRA members? That's up to the uh, UTE bargaining team, uh, but they haven't even seen that uh, offer yet. But you were asking for much, much more than that for CRA members. Is that a reasonable offer in your mind? Well, look, I mean, our bargaining teams, they, they set their, their mandates, their own mandates, and uh, at the time, that the Union of Taxation Employees a bargaining team were going into bargaining. Inflation had jumped up uh, considerably higher than when we started in June of 2021 with the Treasury Board units. So that's why our Canada Revenue Agency of bargaining team uh, set their wage demand as they did.
there have been multiple offers this week, or have you just seen that one so far since Monday? There's been several passes uh, by both parties this week. Okay. And Dennis, uh, what would you have to say to CRA members who are getting you know, tired on the picket lines and kind of losing hope? First of all, I want to thank each and every single PSAC member who walked picket lines for the last two weeks. For our, our members at the Canada Revenue Agency with the Union of Taxation Employees, they've been out now an additional three days while this employer plays games at the negotiating table. Does solving, solving the labor dispute with the Treasury Board lack some solidarity with your CRA employees who are still out on strike? Do they lose some leverage from the fact that there's already a deal for a larger section of employees that are out on strike? Well, I mean, certainly, uh, you know, last week we had, uh, you know, 117, 120,000 members uh, on strike. As of Monday, uh, we had 35,000 members uh, left out there. The 120,000 members from uh, the Treasury Board uh, could not go on strike on Monday because we reached the tentative agreement uh, Sunday night, uh, and therefore they would have been in an illegal strike position because we reached an agreement. And maybe I just don't understand the complexities of bargaining here, but why, why reach a deal? Treasury Board and not for CRA at the same time. Does the C do the CRA employees now lack leverage that they could have had if you could have stayed out? No, they, there's still 35,000 uh, Union of Taxation employees who work at the Canada Revenue Agency uh, walking picket lines. So, I mean, there's, there's still leverage there, uh, absolutely. And, and they will continue to walk those lines uh, until we see a fair offer from uh, the Canada Revenue Agency. And, and so, to be clear, you're, you're saying that it's Like why, why couldn't it be solved at the same time? Just, I mean, but I, that's, a, that's a question for the government and for Treasury Board. Um, why couldn't they do that? The, uh, the, C the CFIB uh, is saying that the filing deadline for small businesses is coming up June 15th, uh, and I've called for back to work legislation. And I was wondering if you had any um, comment on that. Uh, look, I mean, the Canadian Federation of Independent Business, they, they got to do what they got to do. Uh, but certainly, uh, nobody is contemplating back to work legislation from what we understand, which is a good thing. Well, I don't think so. Um, I heard the Minister of National Revenue, uh, Diane de Boutier, said that she had the best tax season of her uh, since 2015. I don't agree with that because our call centers were practically closed except for the essential services. And uh, there's normally a million calls a week uh, during the peak tax season at the CRA. That's about two million calls that didn't get answered. So I know that the tax preparer and the taxpayers who have, uh, you know, are vulnerable, need the help of the CRA. Uh, went through a hell of a time and I think that there's still some people are late so there's an impact and there'll be a big backlog if uh, there's already a backlog but if it doesn't get resolved it's going to be a tremendous backlog at the CRA. Um, I know you mentioned uh, yesterday that the team was preparing a counter offer last night and I was wondering if that's been tabled yet. Well as uh, Brother Edward mentioned there have been seven pass both ways until late in the, like this morning and we could not come to an agreement and uh, it was less than what was offered to the other tables. And for us, it was absolutely a slap in the face, insulting, because we helped the government to deliver not only the tax programs, but the emergency benefits, when they didn't have enough, I guess, a short of staff in the other department, Service Canada, and they needed the help with CRA, and ask our members to come around when we were without a contract for three and a half years. That took a lot of guts, but we took the high road, we delivered, and that's the way they're thanking us. So, our members are really pissed off and tired of waiting. Uh, we have a, an email reportedly from the CEIU, the National Exec, saying to vote against any tentative agreement. I'm not sure which one they were talking about. I'm just curious, can you uh, tell us how that's factored into where, we're, where we are now? Like, you know, and, and you know, what, what is the mandate you're getting from the CEIU? So, uh, I mean, right now, for the four Treasury Board uh, units that we settled uh, for on Sunday night, uh, the four uh, bargaining teams are recommending acceptance uh, of that agreement, uh, and now it's up to the membership. Uh, we, we, we'll, we will be conducting ratification votes in the coming weeks, and it's a democratic process, and the members have the, uh, the right to vote on that agreement, and they'll either vote to accept it or they'll vote to reject it, but right now that's in the, uh, the members' hands. Can I get that in French as well for ready? Can I? Same question? Yeah. Bien, écoutez, comme le confrère mentionné, c'est un processus démocratique. À la fin de la journée, c'est les membres qui ont la décision finale, comme d'habitude. Donc, il va y avoir des votes de ratification à travers le pays. 
et les membres vont s'exprimer et vont avoir la décision finale. Si c'est approuvé, tant mieux. Et s'ils le rejettent, bien, on retournera, ça retournera en, en négociation. Donc, c'est normal. processus démocratique. Any more questions in French? Okay. Thank you all for being here. All right. Thank you. Thank you.